Why do we throw away our hair extensions after just one use? This is part three on a series of videos we're doing on how to reuse our premium quality hair extensions. If you missed us in the previous two videos, video one is about how to properly wash and maintain the hair extension. Video two was about how to make our own clip-in hair extensions. And video three, this one, is about how to properly put these in our hair so that they're secure to wear the whole day. So, are you ready to see my tips and tricks? Now I'm going to put in this three clip hair extension. Now if you remember from the previous video, we had done a double weft, sewn it together and sewn three clips. And if you remember, we put our fingers either end, supporting on the other side, at a little pressure for the clip to open. The clip has combs and it has a bar so that when it's closed, it's going to create a good solid clip to keep that securely fastened to your head. It is slightly curved, just like your head is, so that it just mimics that curve. So I'm going to keep these open for our application. So for the application, we need our hair extension. We also need some hairspray. We need a comb, and this time, not a wide tooth comb, but a comb that is closely together. And we're going to need a claw clip. That's it. So, this three clip hair extension is to go in the back of my hair. So, what we have to do is to work out the placement. Now, what I'm going to do, and this is the easiest I find if you're doing it yourself. Two fingers. I'm going to insert these fingers just above my ears into my hair. Now, I've got two choices as to where I take this right now. I can take them straight across so that my hair extension, when it goes in my hair, is going to be straight across. So at the bottom, it's going to look like it's blunt cut. That's the easiest way to do it, but of course, I don't like easy, I like I like to really do, when I do something, I like to do it well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve it. What that's going to do is give me a curved base to my hair. And if you see my hair, you can see that it's naturally curly. So this is going to be a way that these hair extensions will blend much nicely, much more naturally to my hair. So going back, two fingers. Now in order to curve it, I'm going to have to follow the shape of my skull. So two fingers in. So I'm parting as I go. Once I get past my ears, I am gently curving downwards around the crown of my head. My fingers will reach at the back and I'm just parting. I'm just going to turn so you can show you. I'm just parting it. Every, all the hair that is above my hairline, I am holding up. Now I'm just going to grab my claw clip and keep that out of the way. Now there's my part. Is it perfect? Probably not, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just a nice line that we can follow. Now most people will put in hair extensions in at this point. They'll just grab the hair extension, comb it in, clip it, put your hair down, that's it, ready to go, done. And that's great, but I have fine hair. So I want every advantage to keep those hair extensions in secure all day so I'm not thinking about it. So this is my number one trick for putting in hair extensions to give you that secure feeling. This is going to take hairspray. Now, what I'm going to do, at the places where the clips are, 
you add a little spray of hairspray to your natural hair. So let me turn around so I can show this to you. If you hold the hair extension up to where it's going to go and just sort of push into your head, you can feel where those clips are going to hit you. So in those areas, what I'm going to do is get my hairspray and I'm going to spray a small amount. Now, if, if my, uh, finding the place for the hairspray is a little difficult, there's no problem. You can do it all the way across. And what that will allow you to do is it will allow you to be, you know, if you're slightly off with the, the, where the clip placement is, it doesn't matter. You're covered. Now, we need to wait for this hairspray to dry. Hairspray typically takes 30 to 60 seconds to dry. So give it that time. And then what you're going to do is get your comb. And what you're going to do is you're going to back comb those areas. So if you're not familiar with the term back comb, also tease. So you just go underneath, get your comb and just push back a little. Now at this point, it's going to look messy and that's okay. Nobody's gonna see this part. So we've got a hairspray and we've got it teased. I'm getting my hair extension, making sure that the clips are all open. I'm gonna start on the middle. And what I'm doing is I'm getting that clip and just combing it against my skull in the part where you're hairsprayed and just putting it closed. Keeping a finger on that one, I'm moving over to the right doing the same thing and then go over to the left same thing okay that hair extension is in tight and then what I would do put my hair down my own hair now if I was going to add more hair extensions I would just do the same thing a little higher parting it putting this hair out of the way following the same thing, putting hairspray just to tease that area to give it extra traction. But because of the, I don't want you sitting here for, for a long time watching me, what I am going to do is put in one of these pops of color. Just the ones that I showed with one clip, just to give me a bit of, you know, a little bit of fun and whimsy for the day. So I'm going to get the same things again. I'm going to get my finger in around my temple, part the hair, use my claw clip to keep that out of the way. Now, when you are doing hair extensions near the front of your head, you need to make sure that you leave about one centimeter in before you start. What that will do is it will actually allow your natural hair to cover it, so it will actually blend in with your hair. So, just to show you, we go here, the natural hairline is right here, and I'm going to put the hair extension around about here. So, same process, because we want it to stay. I'm going to get this hair here and grab my hairspray Just a little burst, it's enough, you don't need a lot. You just need a bit of sticky in there. As it dries, we back comb it so that it will give some traction to the hair. So I'll just let that dry a little and I'm going to follow the same process. So lift it, bit of back combing, and then I'm going to get my extension. I'm going to open that clip. And I'm going to just put it in. Make it closed. Okay, nice and strong. Pull my hair down. Now obviously because this is pink, I want it to show. Okay, and it's very obvious right now because I 
haven't straightened my hair and yet I'm using straight hair extensions. My next step is going to be, after I put all my extensions in, I will then go and flat iron my hair because I want it straight. Now you could use uh, curly hair extensions. Uh, that will work also and then I can just keep my natural curl in place. So hopefully you enjoyed my tips and tricks for putting in hair extensions. Please, if you'd like to see the other vi videos in this series, please go to YouTube at Red Popo to see the entire series. And if you like this video, please press like. Hope to see you on our videos next time.